Hi everyone, it's Billion Cash with Casual Gaming, and today we're going to be playing Human Fall Flat uh, for the Nintendo Switch. Um, this isn't a game uh, I was initially interested in, um, and honestly it's not a game I've heard anything about. Um, we were at at the um, we were at Walmart, and uh, my kids saw this kind of in their in their twenty dollar or less section, and um, they thought it looked really cool. Um, one of my kids said they watched a video about it or seen seen something about it, um, so I picked it up. Uh, it was twenty dollars for the physical edition. Um, it says uh, Dream Collection, Human Fall Flat, over 20 levels on the case. There's no no manual or anything. It's just a game cartridge on the inside, um, like a typical Switch game. And uh, it's one to two players. Um, and it's uh, more or less kind of like a physics puzzle game. Um, so we'll get it loaded up and go from there. Uh, like I said, this isn't a game I was initially interested in. Um, even just the looks on the cover, it's got a really RuneScape, original RuneScape look to it, or old school RuneScape look to it. Um, but uh, funny, funny enough, it actually ended up growing on me pretty well. Um, my son and I played the first level, which is a really basic level, it's just to get you to learn how to walk around. Um, second level kind of shows you how to grab and climb Let's see I've changed my avatar I'm the dog <laughs> so yeah they'll let you customize your avatar uh, I think there's a handful of levels to begin with um, and then there's some extra levels you can play with afterwards um, I only have about two levels left in the main game um, and yeah, I was really surprised at how much I liked this game. Uh, it did take kind of a minute to get used to it, especially the, the climbing is a little weird at first, um, but you kind of pick up on it pretty quick and like it's, <laughs> the movement and, and the walking is kind of sloppy, you know, for lack of a better term, <laughs> um, but that also is kind of the charm with it. Um, t your first, your first guy, I'm not sure if you can customize your characters right off the bat. I just customized mine. And, uh, so you could just start with a plain, you know, kind of plain Jane white character. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do right off the bat here. And yeah, um, kind of jumping around a lot with my words, but yeah, it's kind of just a puzzle game. So you're kind of thrown into these levels. Uh, I don't remember what the name of this level is. I think it was Steam, um, but I could be wrong. And yeah, you kind of figure out how to move forward. You can uh, use the trigger buttons, kind of control each one of your hands so that you can grab onto things. Um, and then you kind of use the, the right stick to pull yourself up as needed. So here's an example of the jump, and you can jump that and then pull yourself up. And that's kind of a lot of the first couple levels is jumping around and such. Now it looks like we can move this. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it's just kind of like a, just the way he's moving reminds me of like a physics game and the way you jump and fall and everything. And yeah, it's just a puzzle. You just try to get through the level. Um, you see it said saving, so I hit a checkpoint. Um, it's kind of funny every time 
you jump off, you just get respawned into your save point. Um, this isn't really useful playing one player, kind of unless you kind of soft lock yourself, which isn't really easy to do. Um, but <laughs> it can be handy um, if you're playing. Oh, if you're playing two players, um, maybe with a young one, um, and they uh, can't quite get the jumping figured out. My youngest isn't really able to do the jumping. And uh, what we usually end up doing here is I will get past the level or get to the checkpoint um, and then he's able to, we don't call it jumping off or dying, we just call it human fall flat. <laughs> and uh, And then he's able to uh, kind of move forward with me, so. So yeah, the puzzles in this game are, aren't super hard. Um, there was one in the Aztec level that took me quite a while, um, embarrassingly to say, because I just couldn't quite figure it out. Um, but I, um, we did end up getting it and Was, uh, pretty good. There's also some, I guess, some speedrunner tricks, I guess, for lack of a better term. Um, where you, you can climb walls if you kind of get yourself. kind of <laughs> fandangle yourself up, I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, let's push that over there. Push this up against the wall. to the ramp here so hopefully it doesn't kind of roll back on us as much. You know what? Let's try something else here. Yeah, there we go. You pull yourself up. Move on over here. Looks like we got steam pipe section thing. And we'll come over here and grab our pipe. going to come back over here 
And there we go. We can move forward. Hit our checkpoint. Looks like there's another pipe right here leading to kind of a little elevator lift. Check down here, see what we got. Where's our pipe section at? Human fall flat. Okay, let's try this again. yet, but looks like we use this to push it forward. Knocks it down. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna come over here and get our pipes set up. like we need to get a fire in there to get it going. Fire's over there, it looks like.
close up our, our boiler here. All right, we got steam. Uh, now we can just head back over. all stuck right here. There we go. Alright, so let's come up here, see what we're dealing with. This looks like it's the beginning of the level. Well, no, actually this is just the way we just came in. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna grab this thing, pull it over, and then turn it a bit. here and do just like we did before jump 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 we hit our checkpoint Looks like there's a door right here can't open this one as is some pipes we're dealing with some chains Jump in from over here, though. Okay. I wonder if we can jump up here. Okay, we got up to this one. Oh, 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 oh. We're gonna grab our pipe here. See if we can't bust this, bust this lock up. Some of these items are breakable. Is this? Get out of here. Yeah, if we could open up this door, that'll let us carry everything back in. So why can't we open this door? Looks like the boiler's running. It's leaking. 
making. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So how do I get back over now? that ladder. I can take apart from this thing. And there we go. Or in, it looks like our chain broke. We can get their pipe pieces now. Let's just yank this thing down. Grab this piece. No.
Ha ha. And then we hook these together. trial and error sometimes as you kind of figure these things out. Okay, looks like we got a barrel, a couple barrels. This is glass. Nice thing is glass is absolutely breakable. Let's see if we can get this. We get to pilot the crane. Try and move this a little bit less steep so that we can walk up it. Okay, so now we need to. And we can't because we don't have steam power. Right, right. Okay. just to grab this, but then how do we get it back? Oh, dropping it. Let's just try jumping. Oh, it worked! We gotta be careful. Careful, careful. Jump! Ah, yes. and put it off to the side. I'm gonna move this guy in. Alright. We're hooked up to our crane. I think a really neat thing about this game is that you can kind of see all the stuff forward and then kind of look back and see all the stuff you've done previously. Um, I really like that aspect of this game. Looks like I might need one of those 
those teas. So a lot of times when you do something like this, you kind of just have to grab on and see where it takes you. see it whenever you see this green uh, green sign that means that that's the way to the next level okay, you probably could have jumped off right there but Here we go! And then it loads the next level. Oh, human fall flat. <laughs> it's like this is gonna be an ice level. Better hold on, or I'm about to fall off again. neat um, but that's where we're gonna stop it um, just wanted to walk through one level kind of show you the puzzle solving aspects of the game um, kind of like I said previously uh, it's kind of got an old-school runescape vibe um, you know with all the polygons and jaggedness of everything the physics acts physics aspect is really interesting um, it always it when I first started playing it seemed really sloppy but kind of as you get the hang of it it works pretty well um, important things kind of to note is you you do kind of have to look up to jump um, that way you can see him jump up like that if I'm looking straight ahead see how his arms his arms don't 
go up as I do that. Um, so that's a little weird at first, just to get used to. Um, this jumps a little too high, but kind of like I said, um, you kind of figure out after a while, um, you can kind of swing yourself back and forth. I um, mean, if you've got the time and patience, you can reach yourself up little by little. Um, in some, not not in every case, but in some cases, um, and I was able to beat the last little puzzle in Aztec. Um, I did not want to <laughs> deal with with the puzzle there, so I used this to climb over the door, climb onto the crane, and then luckily I was able to jump from the crane up to the to the landing area to finish that level. But yeah, um, overall, I really like this game. Um, like I said before, it's it's a when we got it, it was twenty dollars for the physical. I know it's a, quite a bit cheaper to get the digital version. Um, so, you know, that's that's a route you can always go down. Um, but yeah, Human Fall Flat. Uh, puzzle game, really fun. Uh, graphics are really charming. Uh, let me quit out of this. You can, the pause menu kind of gives you a walk down at the controls. You can load your checkpoint if you need to reload for some reason. You can restart the level options uh, you know if you need to invert or anything like that on the main menu you have your customized options um, which lets you customize um, yourself and the other player so either the second player or you can switch back so you're that player so you can kind of have two things going on at once um, when you edit these you can kind of select your model so I've got the dog um, there's Skeleton, Crash Dummy, Mummy, uh, Present, and Fortune Teller are some pretty good ones. Uh, Legacy Body, I think, is the one you start with. And then you can customize further by changing the colors. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's a fun game. Um, it's a little hard for, for young kids just because of the... The jumping um, is a huge part of a couple levels. Um, and if, if they're not, if they're having trouble with kind of the, the having to look forward, run forward, look down at the same time and jump, that's going to give them some issues. Um, but like I said, my son and I figured, you know, I kind of take care of those parts and then he human falls flat and, and just skips ahead to the next checkpoint. And that gives him a chance to kind of roam around and explore the explore the areas and stuff which he really likes so yeah overall i i really like this game i mean you should pick it up um that's the end of our review or kind of our our intro and review for human fall flat um definitely like share and subscribe to the channel and uh we'll catch you on the next one